This is the month of June. The month of visitation. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Open your mouth and ask God to forgive you of any sin that can hinder you from receiving from him today. Tell him to forgive you of every sin that can hinder you. Generational sin, sin of your fathers, sin of your mothers, sin of the village where you are born, sin of Nigeria, sin of Lagos State, sin of your relatives that can hinder you from receiving from him today. In Jesus' mighty name, you have been forgiven. Raise up your hands to the heaven as you sing this song from the bottom of your heart. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. this prayer. Say, oh heaven over our service tonight. Open in the name of Jesus. Oh heaven over our service tonight. Open in the name of Jesus. Open in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. Oh heaven over our service tonight. Open in the name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Say, Lord Jesus, let there be ascending and descending of angels into our midst tonight. Say, Lord Jesus, let there be ascending and descending of angels into our midst tonight. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. Say, Lord Jesus, 
Let there be ascending and descending of angels into our midst tonight. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, all thou angels that dwelleth in the presence of the living God, I am available tonight. Bring down my good news now in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. Oh God, all thou angels that dwelleth in the presence of the living God, I am available. Bring down my good news now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And pray the final word. Say, all thou angels that dwelleth in the presence of the living God, in this month of visitation, I must be visited by fire. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. Praise the living Jesus. Welcome to service once again. You can have your seats as we take the lesson. The lesson for this glorious service will be seen in the book of Matthew chapter 5 from verse 1 to 16. As I read. And seeing the multitude, he went up into a mountain, and when he was set, his disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth and thought them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and taste after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for she shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are he, when men shall reveal you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost its several, wherewith shall it be salted? It is then thought good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden under feet of men. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on an hill cannot be hidden. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good work and glorify your Father which is in heaven. May the Lord bless the reading and hearing of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. And may we indeed go out to shine for the light in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's stand to our feet as we worship the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Come and lift your hands and bless the name of the Lord. Give him praise. Father, we worship you. We give you praise. Come and begin to love on your God. Come and begin to love on him. Father, we worship you. Jesus, we worship you. We worship you. We give you praise. We bless you. Now that you are worthy to be praised. We give you all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we worship you. Who is like a Lord in all the earth? Much less God in beauty, endless world. Nothing in this world will satisfy. Oh, Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry. Endless world, nothing in this world will satisfy. Hey, Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry. Hey, your presence is heaven to me. Your presence is heaven 
to me. Come on, let's sit together. Hey, your presence, your presence, it is seven to me. To me, oh, your presence, Jesus. Your presence is seven. from the land who is like you lord in all the earth who is like you lord in all the earth much less god much less lord and beauty and less world nothing in this world nothing in this world will satisfy Oh Jesus, you're the cup. Jesus, you're the cup that would run dry. Who is like you, Lord? Who is like you, Lord? Who is like the Lord in all the earth? Much less God and beauty, beauty and less world. Oh, nothing in this world will satisfy. This world will satisfy. Intentional, intentional, God. Hey, everything is working out for my good. Let's do my best together. You are it there. Depend on the guy. It doesn't matter what comes my way. It doesn't matter what comes my way. You are still God. Oh, so we want to quickly pray 
Um, can we have our seats, please? Um, we welcome you all once again. So we, how many of us know that we are having our conference next month? How many of us know? All right. Um, we are having a bigger event next month, July 9th. So we want to pray concerning that program now. We want to put it in the hands of God. So after the prayer, we continue our worship. All right. So can we have the video, please? Just chilling. The video is loading. Be in spirit. Do you like it? Clap for Jesus now if you like it. All right. Um, we want to pray. We want to commit the program into um, the hands of God. So can we rise up? Come rise up. So this is how we're going to be doing it. Make sure your two hands is touching someone. Quickly. Yeah. So. The Bible says we receive not because we ask not. And the Bible says, either ask it, receive it. So one thing we want to pray to the Lord for is that when that program comes up, it will be a proof of his presence. Do you get it? The theme says the glory of the Lord, the, the glory of the youth. And the Bible calls strength the glory of the youth. So we want to say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Let's say it well. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Our conference come next month. Make it a proof of your presence. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that come next month, our youth conference here will be a manifestation, a proof that you are here with us. Because your word says, we are two or three are gathered in your name. And in the name of Jesus, we declare this program strengthened. That anyone who comes here will receive your empowerment. That everyone who comes here who was once ashamed will be glorious. That every man who come to that event, even from today, will be blessed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Finally, we want to tell God that every man that comes here that day, when they come feeble, they return with strength. Let's say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Every man that comes to our conference next month, July 9th, even from today, strengthen them. Father, in Jesus' name, we pray. Because your word says the Lord, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Your joy is what has been keeping us running. Father, in the name of Jesus, every feeble mind, every feeble man, every feeble home, every feeble life, every feeble anything, Father, we pray that as they come here, let them go with strength. We ask for your mercy to do that for us. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. We are going to worship now. We want to start. We have prayed. Do you believe God has answered? And will you invite someone next month? How many people will you invite? Don't worry. God will bless us all. Elohim Adonai. We are in the mood of worship. Elohim Adonai. Hello, 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 Hello,
Rosa Caraba Dinda Caraba Forever, I love you forever. 
Seven. Do we have a winner? Do we have a winner? Glow users. Glow users. Please let's move. We don't have glow users here. 33532 608775 who is the lucky winner? Or who is the graceful winner? Hey, I'm excited! Another glow, don't worry. Glow users! She's the only one using glow. Let's move. 33532 <laughs> 8 1 4 2 6. Do we have a winner? Oh, praise God. 9 mobile. I'm, I'm actually sad because I use 9 mobile, but I cannot win it. 9 mobile, are we ready? 9 mobile, are we ready? I'm going to dash brave cow. 2 3 1 25129. Who is the winner? Praise the Lord. MTN. MTN. Please, this is the last one. We'll continue our um, fastest finger online. So you have to be smart. MTN users. 0399 2138. 5876-24272. Who is MTN ambassador here? Uh -uh. You again? Praise the Lord. Don't worry, we'll continue online. If you are not on the group chat, please signify so that we can add you to the group. Don't worry, we are still in the mood of worship, so so that you won't break off, okay? Mommy, here. Yeah. I ignite games, man. I'll buy them, yes.
Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. We are here for a wonderful time in God's presence. A refreshing time in His presence. We will not leave here empty-handed in Jesus' name. Our Ignite game. We were informed that we should study Matthew chapter 5. Do we have anyone or people that are interested in this game? You study Matthew chapter 5, please come forward. Let's encourage them by clapping for them. Study to show yourself approved. A workman that needed not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. These ones are not ashamed. They study the word. How many contestants? again we have 20 questions blessing you won the last time do you have anyone that you invited here today you didn't invite anybody you are disqualified David, you won the last time. Who did you invite? He invited you. Please, your name. You won the last time. Yes. Who did you invite? Let the person read. Okay. All right. Bring people, don't be selfish. Do the work of an evangelist. Praise the Lord. Okay, your names. Pastor, you've taken the names. I also like to have the names. Chidima. Okay. Titi. Titi, all right. If I. If I. Fine. Michael. Yusuf, hallelujah. Deborah. Deborah. Hallelujah. Sarah. Ah, it is well. Abdurrahman, Yusuf. Praise the Lord. Sarah. Sarah. Adewali. 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 Yeah. Who is Adewali? Then Ebuka. What Ebuka? Did you invite anyone? All liars will go to hellfire. Today? No, you are one of the winners. You are disqualified. You are disqualified. Okay, okay so I start with... Uh, we have 20 questions. I'll start with um, Sister Chidema. Number two... Number two. Quote Matthew chapter 5, verse 9. Blessed are. Praise the Lord. Sister, to pick a question. Question five. 
Question five. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Where is this in Matthew chapter five? Matthew chapter five. I'll yes. give you options. Matthew chapter five verse sixteen. That's A. Matthew chapter five verse two. That's B. Then C. Matthew chapter five verse twenty-six. D. Matthew five. Matthew chapter five verse twelve. Matthew chapter five verse sixteen. Praise the Lord. Three. Question three. Okay. This question attracts an extra point, so if you get it right, you will be ahead. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus called us the light of the world. Where in Matthew chapter 5 can we find this scripture? Kindly quote correctly New King James Version. New King James. Is it composed? Matthew chapter, where can you find where Jesus called us the light of the world? Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. Wrong. Thank you. Michael, pick a question. Question 2. Question 2. Quote Matthew chapter 5, verse 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. David, pick a question. Question three. Question three, okay. Jesus called us the light of the world. Where in Matthew chapter five can we find the scripture? Can they quote correctly New King James Version? Matthew chapter five, verse 14. Ye are the light of the world. Ye are the light of the world. Is media, can we please, hold on, please, can we have it projected, media? Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 so that we can all be okay, so that we all judge so shoot ye are the light of the world a city that is set on an hill cannot be it you are the light of the world a city that is set on a hill cannot be eaten so you have we give him two points okay. number 7 Question seven. Okay. Yes, ma'am. That's um, Yusuf. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Fill the gap according to Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. Listen carefully. Therefore, you shall be dash, just as your father in heaven is dash. I have options for you. A, just, perfect. B, upright, blessed. C, righteous, holy. D, perfect, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Hallelujah. Praise God. Question five. Okay. That's um, Deborah. Okay. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Where is this in Matthew chapter 5? A, Matthew 5, 16. B, Matthew 5, 2. C, Matthew chapter 5, verse 26. Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. Praise the Lord. Question 2. Question 2. That's um, Abdurrahman. Okay. Question two has been taken by Michael. Six. Question six. According to Matthew chapter five, from verses one to twelve, Jesus taught about the Beatitudes. Who was he teaching directly? A. The multitude. B. The Beatitudes. C. The disciples. D. The children. The children. Praise the Lord, you didn't get it. 
he was teaching the disciple directly. The word is directly. Number one. That's um, Sarah. Yes. Okay. Number one. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for there is a kingdom of heaven. Where in Matthew chapter 5 can we find the statement? Matthew 5 verse 3. Praise the Lord. Um, Adewale. Okay. 12. 12, right? What was the theme of our last Ignite meeting? Praise the Lord. Let's give them a round of applause to encourage them. At the end of this first round, Chidima, thank you for coming. Ifai, thank you for coming. Abdurrahman, thank you for thank you for coming. Adewale, thank you for coming. Please, we should give um, Abdurrahman something. Yes, for participating. Please, let's take. Let's clap for Abdurrahman. So we'll move to the next round. Number 10. Number 10. Quote Matthew chapter 5, verse 5. Praise Blessed the Lord. Are the meek. Okay. Blessed are the meek in heart, for they shall see God. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Sorry. No. Five, five. Please don't turn. That is not it. Listen, you make in heart. She for said, For they shall see God. That is not it. Praise the Lord. Question we we'll leave it for someone else. Question three. Question ten. Jesus called us. Please hold on. I want to be sure. David answered that already. Where's David? You answered question three. Yes. I said question ten. Question ten. Okay, quote Matthew chapter 5, verse 5. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Yes, praise the Lord. Question 12. That's um, Ifai, right? Michael. Michael. What's your name, please? David. David. Oh, okay. Yeah. Question 12. What was the theme of our last Ignite meeting? Fulfilling divine purpose. Hallelujah. Question 8. Question 8. How many verses are there in Matthew chapter 5? 48. Praise the Lord. Yes, yeah, so evangelist Yusuf. Question nine. Question nine. But let your yes be yes and your no, no. For whatever is more than this is from the evil one. What verse of Matthew chapter five can we find this statement? I'll give you options. A, Matthew chapter five, verse 37. B, Matthew chapter five, verse 20. I beg your pardon. A, Matthew chapter 5, verse 37. 
Matthew chapter 5 verse 27. C, Matthew chapter 5 verse 47. D, Matthew chapter 5 verse 17. Matthew chapter 5 verse 27. No, no. Sarah, pick a question. Question 8. It has been taken by Yusuf. Okay, you want to know the available numbers? Is that what you said? Okay. The available ones. The one. Okay. Nine. Nine. Okay. But let your yes be yes, and your no no. For whatever is more than this is from the evil one. What verse of Matthew five can we find the statement? Thirty-seven. Praise the Lord. So we've come to the end of another round. Sister Titi, thank you for coming. Deborah, thank you for coming. So we now have um, Michael, right? Then David. David has extra one point. Then um, Yusuf, evangelist Yusuf. Then um, Sarah. All right. six. Six. Six has been taken. Question 14. 14. In Matthew chapter 5, verses 13a and 14a, Jesus called the believers two things. What are these things? A. Light and city. B. Lamp and light. C, lamb and salt. D, salt and light. Salt and light. Praise the Lord. Question 15. Okay, 15. Who are those that will see God according to Matthew chapter 5 verse 8? A, the pure in heart. B, the merciful C, the poor in spirit. D, the peacemakers. The pure in heart. Praise the Lord. 13. Thirteen. Quote correctly. Three verses of your choice from Matthew chapter 5. Anyone that you like of your choice. Matthew 5 verse 48. Be ye perfect as your heavenly father which is in heaven is perfect. Amen. That's one. Matthew 5 verse Matthew 5 verse 3. Blessed are you. Blessed. Sorry. Sorry, please. Take your time. Okay, ma'am. Matthew Five verse three. Blessed, sorry. Matthew, 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 Matthew. You can even just quote the quote the verse. Just say it, not necessarily saying where it is found in Matthew chapter five. I should, okay. Without saying the verse. Okay, I should just quote it. Yes, quote. Let your light so shine before me. That they may see your good work and glorify your Father which is in heaven. One more. Ye are the light of the world. Eight. Sorry, please. Ye are the light of the head. Sorry. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The team.
has been taken. So Sarah. Question 10. 10. 10 has been taken. 9. Nine has been taken. Fifteen. Fifteen. Fifteen has been taken. Let me call the available numbers. Four is available. We're almost out of questions. 11 is available, 4, 11, 16, so 4 is available, 11 is available, 16 is available, 17 is available, 18 is available, 19, 20, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, we have 7 more questions. 4. Question 4. But I say to you, that whoever is angry with his brother without a cause, shall be in danger of the judgment. Who made the statement? Where in Matthew chapter 5 can we find it? I will give you option. A. John the Baptist, chapter 5, verse 22. B. Apostle John, Matthew chapter 5, verse 20. C. Jesus Christ, Matthew chapter 5, verse 22. D. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Matthew chapter 5, verse 15. See Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. She got it. Okay, so David, you have one, um, one point ahead of those three, so you are the winner for today. So step aside. You won last month. Question 17. 17. According to Matthew chapter 5, verses 27 to 29, Jesus talked about adultery. Briefly remind us about what Jesus said about the eye. Please, can you repeat the question? Okay. According to Matthew chapter 5, verses 27, 28, and 29, Jesus talked about adultery. Briefly remind us, tell us about what Jesus said about the eye. Okay. Not quoting it, just tell us what he taught us about that. Cut, plug it out or cut it off. That is, if your eyes is making you to sin, okay. remove your, your eyes from it. Okay. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Verse 20 says, But I say to you that whoever looks at a woman to lust for her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. 29. If your right eye causes you to sin, Pluck it out and cast it from you. For it is more profitable for you that one of your members perish than for your whole body to be cast into hell. Not our portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so Yusuf. There, there's, how many questions is left now? The questions. Okay. 11, 16, 18, 19, 20. 11. 11. Okay. What was the theme of our last two Ignite meetings, including that of today? If you answer it correctly, you have two, you have extra points. What was the theme of our last two Ignite meetings, including that of today? That of May, that of April. Dominion mandate. Okay, that is for today.
Is today your first time of coming? It's a second time. So, the team for last month. Praise the Lord. So, we'll give you half mark for that. So, Sarah. 20. 20. What's the slogan for glorious life bearers? We shine for Christ. Hallelujah. <laughs> David, you didn't get your question. Okay, okay, Michael. Oh, David is already out there. Michael, you got yours. So it's Yusuf that didn't get his full question. All right, so we've come to the end. Praise the Lord. No, for we we want to appreciate them for participating well, excellently well, Abdurrahman and Yusuf. Please, we'd like to give them. Um, we appreciate you at the end of service for coming forward to show that you've studied the word with knowledge. Thank you so much. Because it's not just to show for that. No, Abdurrahman and Yusuf, we appreciate. Thank you for coming. All right, so we now have um, a tie between Michael and Sarah. Question 19. 19. Who is the author of every scripture? A, Jesus. B, God. C, Jesus and God. D, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. 17. 17. 17 has been taken. My many questions. There is 18. You have 18. And there is 16. 16. According to Matthew chapter 5, verse 1, where was Jesus when he was teaching the Beatitudes? A, by the river. B, on the boat. C, on the mountain. D, in the wilderness. On the mountain. Praise the Lord. So how do we go about this? And time is running out. Okay. We have um, 18. We have question 18. Question 18. Question 18. Summarize or paraphrase Matthew chapter 5. Verse 37. No answer. But let your yes be yes and no be no. When you see more than this from the evil one. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. We bless the name of the Lord. You have helped us to also, you know, go over Matthew chapter 5. We bless the name of the Lord. The word will remain and will also abide in the word in the mighty name of Jesus. The grace to continually meditate on the word we receive in Jesus' name. So our winner for today is David. Or oh, I start with Sarah. Sarah. Okay, I start with Michael. Yes. Michael, you are the second runner of. You are appreciated on behalf of the servant leader. Thank you for studying the word. Congrats. Sarah, thank you for being a representative of the female gender. Thank you for representing us well. On behalf of the servant leader, thank you. Praise the Lord. 
once more. Hmm? Last month you came, this month the Lord will continue to strengthen you. We appreciate the grace of God upon your life. Continue to study and the Lord will reward you even in the open, the more in Jesus' name. This is given to you on behalf of our beloved servant leader. Congratulations. Thank you all for being actively involved in the Ignite game. Thank you so much. We appreciate your support. rise up on our feet as we worship the king of glory the ancient of days the beginning and the end the one who was who is and who is to come the alpha and omega say something beautiful to the lord tonight say something beautiful to the lord tonight Do not say stay silent if all you can say tonight is thank you jesus then say something say something to the lord say something to the lord father we give you all the glory we give you all the honor, Lord. Hallelujah. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. You are the Lord. Let your name be We give you glory and honor. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. We give you glory and honor. You are. You are the Lord, let yes. your name be glorified. Jesus. You are the Lord, let your name be glorified. We give you glory and honor. You are the Lord, let your name
to listen into your holy hands lord the entrance of your word give it light let your word comfort empower today to dispel darkness from our lives in the name of jesus let your word bless the speaker and let it bless the hearers in the name of jesus let it illuminate our heart in the mighty name of jesus let our heart be ready to receive the word and give us a grace to be the doer indeed in the name of jesus in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. I, I welcome you once more into God's presence. Please have your seat in your father's house. Say to your neighbor, to your right and to your left, welcome to my father's house. Yes, we are in our father's house. The theme for this month is Dominion Mandate. The dictionary meaning for dominion is a state of being superior to all others in authority. It is also known as supremacy. The other word is mandate. Mandate, by dictionary definition, is an official order or commission to do something. Simply put, it's saying that you are given an instruction you are given a directive. You are given an instruction to do something. The instruction, directive, direction to do something. But we want to take our own definition from the Bible meaning of what dominion mandate is. And this we can get from the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verses 26 and 28. I read verse 26. Then God said, let us make man in our image, in our image, according to our likeness, repeating it in our image, in our likeness. To paraphrase it, God here, the Trinity was saying, let us make man to be like us. 
let it not just be only the three of us. Let us reproduce ourselves in man. Going forward in that same verse 26, God was, the, the three of the Trinity were still talking, saying, let them have dominion. He made man to have dominion. You already have dominion. You do not need to take dominion. You have the seed of dominion in you already. Praise the Lord. You have the seed. You have it in your DNA already. No wonder Psalms chapter 8 verse 6 says, You made him to have dominion over the works of your hands. Who is God talking about? He's talking about you and I. You made him to have dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet. All things are under our feet. Amen. Amen. So I'll say dominion mandate, to paraphrase it, is saying, you and I, we have been given instruction. We have been given authority to rule over creatures and creation. I like the way the Passion Translation put this verse 26. You know, we already established that God said, let us make man in our image, in our likeness. The Passion Translation says, you have, you have delegated to them mastery over all you have made. Making everything subservient, making everything under us to their authority. Placing earth itself under the feet of your image bearers. Placing everything under the feet of your image bearers. Testifying that God has put everything under us because we are like him. Amen. Amen. Verse, 20, verse 28 says, And God blessed them. God did not just give us um, an assignment. He anointed us. He blessed us. And God blessed them. That means you are already empowered. You are anointed. But he went forward to give other mandates. There are actually five in one mandate. He anointed them to be fruitful, to multiply, to fill the earth. I like the way Kim James Version put it. It says, replenish, subdue it, have dominion. But when we look at our lives, are we really, are we really manifesting this? Or are we manifesting it to the level that God has proposed us to? manifest. That verse 28, when we look at the adjective in New Living Translation, it says, fill the earth and govern it. Are we, or are we really in power? Are we taking authority to govern this earth according to God's mandate for, for us? Amplified, I like the way Amplified also put that verse 28. And God blessed them granting them certain authority granting them certain authority and sent to and said to them be fruitful multiply and fill the earth and subjugate it subjugate it putting it under your power and rule over and rule over the fish subjugate it put it under your power we have been given certain authority to put it under our feet from this teaching, we will not add in our heart. God will help us to come into the awareness of our identity in him in the mighty name of Jesus. The message Bible says, verse 28 of it says, Take charge. Be responsible. We are to take charge. We are to be responsible. Revelation chapter 1 verse 6. Jesus has made us king and priest in power and in status. I want to read that. Can we have that Revelation chapter 1 verse 6? Jesus has made, can we have it? And has made us kings and priests to his God and Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. You see, our God has dominion. And his dominion is forever and ever. If he's your father, and I believe is your father. You are expected to also begin to experience and manifest this dominion mandate. From today's teaching, we will begin to walk in that dominion mandate in the mighty name of Jesus. We are not walking 
on the level of this mandate that God wants us to. According to Hosea 4.6, he said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. If you know who you are, you know your identity, you will not tremble. You will not be bothered about what is happening in Nigeria. You only stand on the gap to pray for Nigeria. But you will know that God will continually supply your needs according to his own riches in glory by Christ Jesus. You begin to declare your identity in Christ Jesus. You begin to say, when others are saying, there's a casting down. You know that you are living in a different kingdom, even though you are here on earth. God will help us to come into that awareness in the mighty name of Jesus. We shall not reject this teaching in the mighty name of Jesus. Another word for dominion is an influenza to shift things to go God's way. According, in accordance to God's plan, we are to be influencers for God. We are to influence things to go in God's way, according to God's plan. As from today, we begin to shift things in a sphere of influence in the mighty name of Jesus. We shift them from evil to good in the mighty name of Jesus. From immoral to right standing with God in the mighty name of Jesus. One of the benefits of being in supremacy is having the power to call the shot. In the olden days, the king can say, this is my word, and nobody can question it. They can do and undo. They can do anything that they want. But God is reminding us this season that we have the power. We have the authority. We can also wield our power to begin to call those things that be not as though they were in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's take this prayer and say, Father, take me to position where I can begin to influence things for the expansion of your kingdom and the mighty name of Jesus. Father, catapult me to position of influence where I can begin to make things to work for your kingdom, for the expansion of your kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, take me to that position where I can begin to influence for the expansion of your kingdom here on earth in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, take me there. Catapult me there. Beyond my imagination, take me there, my father. Father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus, also pray that when God takes you to that position, you will promote his business in the mighty name of Jesus, not for your own purpose alone, but to promote his business in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. How do we go about achieving this instruction? We already established that mandate is an instruction. How do we go about achieving this? We have to be like God. We have to be like God in faith. Faith is a currency that we use in this kingdom. And you must have it in order for you to spend it. Hebrews 11, 6 says, It is impossible for you to please God without having faith. Romans 4, 17 says, You have to call those things that be not as though they were. Can we please read it? Romans 4, 17. I'll take the B part. Even God will quicken the dead and call it those things which be not as though they were. I'm going somewhere. Genesis chapter 1 verse 3. God said, let there be light, and there was light. Genesis 1 verse 20. We will not be able to read it because of our time. When he was going to create fish, he spoke to the water, and the fish came into existence. But for them to continue to remain alive, they had to remain in the water. He spoke to the air for the birds of the air to come into existence. To keep living, they also need to remain in the air. When God wanted to create mankind, when he wanted to create you and I, he spoke to himself. For man to be alive, man must remain in God. When we remain in God, when we abide in him, we are able to receive sustenance from him. And we are able to fulfill our, our dominion mandate. James 1, 23, 25 admonishes us that we should look at the word of God. In order for the word of God to benefit us, we need to be the doer of the word, not just the hearer. Anything outside of Christ, you won't be able to fulfill this divine mandate. For by strength will no man prevail. The other thing, because of time, because we need to pray, 
we've mentioned that you need to be like God in faith. You also need to be like your father that has dominion. You have to be like him in thought. You may want to wonder, does God think he does? Jeremiah 29, 11 says, The thought I have towards you is of peace, depending on the version of the Bible you are using, is of good, is of hope. You have to be like him by meditating on Philippians 4, 8. Can we please have Philippians 4, 8? That is what God wants us to meditate on. That is what God wants our thought life to be. Proverbs 4, chapter 4, verse 23, wants us to guard our heart. Easy to read version Bible of that Proverbs 4, 23 says, Above all, be careful what you think because your thought control your life. Don't entertain ungodly thoughts. Don't dwell on things outside of God. I know as youth, we have so many things vying for our attention, trying to take us, shift our focus from Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. But while I was preparing this message, I received this word, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 4 and 5, particularly verse 5, 2 Corinthians 10, verse 5, casting down arguments and everything that is sought exalt itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. It is your responsibility to take charge of your thoughts life. Check the areas that you need to deal with. Check yourself. Galatians 2.21 The grace of God is available unto us. Paul said, I will not Can we please have Galatians 2.21 says, I will not frustrate I do not frustrate the grace of God upon my life. The grace of God is available, but let's not frustrate it. Let's not take it for granted. Let's not frustrate the grace of God that is ready to make us hope fulfill this divine mandate upon our life let's be willing willing and obedient to obey the word of god so that we'll be able to fulfill our purpose and destiny here on earth it will not be our portion that our king will be walking on the ground while the servant will be on the horse in the mighty name of jesus i want to encourage us james 1 4 james chapter 1 verse 4 Let's not say we are tempted. It says we are tempted because we are drawn away due to our own lust, due to our own evil desires. Let's check what we watch, where we go. Let's, let's, it's our responsibility to work our salvation with fear and trembling. Because when we abide in Christ, we'll be able to fulfill this divine mandate. And when we do, we'll be the one to benefit here and even hereafter in the mighty name of Jesus. Having dominion does not mean there won't be obstacles, doesn't mean that there won't be challenges, but we are going to pray. Let's say, Father, I ask for strength not to faint in the day of adversity in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, I ask that you strengthen me today. I come before you, my Lord, my Father. Release your strength unto me that will not faint in the day of adversity. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'll put my hand on the plow. I will not look back in the mighty name of Jesus. My strength will not fail me when it comes to challenges. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will not look back. I will not draw back in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be... I will not fall by the wayside in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. This dominion mandate is a seed, but it can only come into full manifestation when you abide in Christ. You know, I gave example of the bird must remain, the fish must remain. Second Peter 3.10 If you know you are a backslider in the house, God does not condemn us. John 3.17 He doesn't condemn like what happened with the prodigal son, God is eagerly waiting to embrace, to welcome you back into his embrace. And if, never give, if you have never given your life to Christ, God is waiting for you. Second Peter 3.10 But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Can we, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise. And the elements will melt with fervent heat. 
Both the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up. Our God is not a sadist. Don't say, oh, does it mean that um, I won't be able to enjoy life, this Christianity? I tell you, like what David said in the book of Psalm 34, he said, taste and see that the Lord is good. Do you have witnesses in the house that you've tasted of the Lord and the Lord is good to you? I can testify that I've tasted of the Lord. The Lord is good to me. Praise the Lord. If you know, say the Lord is good. Job 36 verse 11. 36, 11. Our God is God of pleasure and prosperity. He's not a sadist. He's not a wicked God. Whatever you are looking for, it is in God. John 10, 10. The abundant life that you need here on earth and even hereafter is in God. Everything you have that you have need of is in him. You can find them in him. Job 36, 11, can we please have it say, if they obey and serve me, they will spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. Praise the Lord. The temporary prosperity, the pleasure, we should not allow them to rule over us. So at this point, I would like to come forward. Don't be ashamed so that God will not be ashamed of you in heaven. If you want to, being born again is not by association. It's not by birth. It's not by my father. Is a praise the Lord for Yusuf and Abdurrahman. It's not by, oh, my father is a deacon. No. It is by a relationship. I would like to call forward that you make an open show of your triumph over the devil. You come forward to identify with us in the open. If you want to give your life to Christ, can you please come forward? And if you are a backslider, you can come back home like the prodigal son so that we join you in prayer and we pray this prayer of dominion together. God is granting you a chance to fulfill your destiny. That is why you are still alive. Do not harden your heart. Let's clap for them to encourage them. Oh, to Jesus I surrender. rejoice because I know the hosts of heaven are rejoicing for these souls. Hallelujah. Please repeat after me. Say, I acknowledge that I am a sinner but I receive today that Jesus died for me on the cross of Calvary. I confess my sins. I repent of them. I forsake them today in the mighty name of Jesus. Accept Jesus as my Lord and personal Savior. Today, I declare that my life is for Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Let me pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for these ones. We thank you for you are the one that have convicted them. It is your doing. It is marvelous in our sight. Father, we ask, O oh Lord God, that you that saved our souls, you also saved their souls till eternity in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we commit these ones into your holy hand. Your word says you are more than able to keep that which is committed into your holy hands. Father, these ones, oh Lord God, you, save, you keep them till eternity that they will not fall by the wayside in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let them remain and abide in you in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask that you encourage them 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Meet them at the various points of their needs. Help them to grow from strength to strength, from grace to grace, from glory to glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Me in Jesus' name, we have prayed. We rejoice with you. Welcome to the family of God. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let's be on our feet as we take just these two prayer points. Hallelujah. Are we sure that we begin to walk in dominion mandates now? Yes. Amen. Yes. Let's say, Heavenly Father, make room for me at the top of the pyramid to influence and do exploits for the kingdom and the mighty name of Jesus. Father, make room for me at the top of the pyramid wherever I find myself to influence and do exploits for the kingdom and the mighty name of Jesus. I do not want to be lost in the crowd. Father, my life should not be to just be I came and I died, but let it be that I make exploits for you, that I do exploits for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, make room for me at the top of the pyramid to influence and do exploits for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Also say ask God to help you to overcome derailing temptation now and in the future. Ask God to help you to overcome derailing temptation that no temptation will derail you from fulfilling your purpose in the mighty name of Jesus. Father we ask for your strength, we ask for your grace that no temptation will derail us from this mandate in the mighty name of Jesus. We receive grace, we receive help to overcome every temptation in the mighty name of Jesus that we shall fulfill our purpose and our destiny in the mighty name of Jesus nothing will cut our lives short in Jesus name we have prayed praise the Lord praise the living Jesus we are blessed in Jesus name amen because here I am to worship here I am to bow You're my God, yes, Lord. All together lovely, all together worthy. Somebody raise your voice. All together wonderful. Two, if you know the song, sing. Here I am to work. Here I am to work. Sing here. Here I am to. says that the words that I speak they are spirit and they are life the word just came from the other straight the word was direct I thank God for his spirit God bless you pastor for most of the things I wanted to say the Lord has spoken you know we are only vessels that we echo God's voice but one thing I want to repeat here is that for you to take dominion for you to fulfill the dominion mandate, there is something that comes before go ye and multiply. He said, and he blessed them and said, Go ye, be fruitful, multiply, replenish, then you subdue. The, the Hebrew word for blessed, if we want to bring it out, is burach, and it means it means increase. You know, so for you to take dominion, you need a feeling, you need to increase so that you can take dominion. Anybody that does not have something to offer cannot do dominate. You must carry something for you to shine like the candle. Some you they need to light you up, like you need the candle. You need to light. So you need a, a lighting up. Bring it down. 
And one of the ways you get lit up, because it is God that lights up. The Bible says in John 1 that Jesus is light. So for you to take that dominion, you need to be lit up. And the way to receive that is the place of worship. For you to be blessed by God means you are humble enough to know that you are not all sufficient. And you need God to take dominion. We are representatives though. It's not our own. He made us in his image and sent us out. So you are, you are to do what God wants you to do. And you cannot do what God wants you to do of your own accord. You need what? His help. That's why he has to bless you before you dominate. And Pastor said, for you to live, you need to be in God. Fishes have to be in water to survive. You cannot survive outside God. You cannot take dominion outside the help of God. You can't. So when we worship, you are not worshiping because you want... You have to worship. You have to put yourself under subjection. To dominate. To receive power. Bring it down. Something just came down. Jesus Christ had to tell his disciples. He said, stay. Tarry ye in where? Jerusalem. Until something has come upon you. Before you can go. You can't bear witness until something comes upon. Yes, there's a spirit within the Holy Ghost. When you give your life to Christ. But there's a spirit upon even Jesus. He said, on that day after he was baptized, a dove came from heaven. And he rested upon him. Something must come upon you. And it's in the place of worship that that thing comes upon so when we say worship God, you need to let loose. Can you open up your mouth in 30 seconds? Worship is not tied to a song. It is just the, it's the state of your heart. Worship is the state of your heart. Are you humble enough? Then your state of your heart produces songs. It produces sounds. Somebody raise your worship. Raise your worship. Raise your worship. Raise your worship. Shatana melekute. Rabadadadon. Lord, we worship you. And by understanding, I'll sing this song. Everywhere I go, I carry you in me. In the beauty of nature, you shine on. You need to shine. You are everything. Sing it. Everything is you. Yes. Fresh of Jesus. You cannot shine without Jesus.
you are justified, God will continually glorify your lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We rejoice with you in this month of your celebration. It's time for you to cut your cake and as you do so, we we'll pray for you after. So we are going to cut on the count of J-E-S-U-S. J, you can stretch forth your hand. Give me a J. E. S. U S what do you have Jesus with 
celebrate you. We celebrate the grace of God upon your life. Let us pray for them. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of life that you have given to your children, born in the month of June. Father, we bless your name for your glory and beauty upon their lives. Father, of your glory and of your grace upon their life, there shall be no end in the mighty name of Jesus. If you tarry, we pray that they will not be found missing in your kingdom next year in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, the birthday present that money can buy, even the one that money cannot buy, release upon their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Concerning this one, they will not fizzle along the way like the smoke in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not be shoe carriers for their mates in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we stand on the gap, we pray for them, that you make room for them at the top, beyond their qualification, beyond their background in the mighty name of Jesus. As we rejoice with them, since our rejoicing will not cease from our own lives, in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. At the end of the service, please wait to take your cake, and we also eat the cake with you. Many happy returns. Thank you for coming. Praise the Lord. We've come to the end of today's service, but before we do, we need to welcome our VVIP. That's a tradition in this place. We do not take for granted those fellowshipping with us for the very first time. But before we do so, if you know you have done the work of an evangelist, praise the Lord. Okay, for those that are not um, part of our WhatsApp group, please be reminded of the dance crew so as to, and okay, that you remember those that want to join the dance group, please wait behind. We are preparing earnestly for our July conference and it shall fulfill purpose in our lives and in God's kingdom and the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to be having our first evangelism work tomorrow. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I can see my, my evangelism team. Hallelujah. That the mandate is for all of us. And as we go, the Lord will back us up in the mighty name of Jesus. Tomorrow, we have t-shirts for those that want to join. Uh, meeting point is here, 8 o'clock, but we are going to take up by 8.30. We, are, we also have a program coming up here tomorrow. University of Marriage Retreat, right? Abuse in marriage. You don't need to wait to get married before you start having some wisdom about what you want in marriage and what you don't want. You will never suffer abuse in marriage in the mighty name of Jesus. God will bless you with marital bliss in the mighty name of Jesus. So... The time is 12 o'clock for those that want to join us. But tomorrow for our own program, please be here by 8 so that we quickly go and we'll be back to prepare for the University of Marriage Retreat. Yes. For those that have done the work of evangelists, uh, influencers, those that are wise, would like to appreciate. If you, know you have, if you know you invited someone, you invited someone, be true to yourself. All liars will go to your fire. Please come out you invited someone please let's do it quickly because of tomorrow we need to leave this place on or before nine praise the lord you invited someone please be on my right hand side let's clap for them it's not easy to be an influencer for christ praise the lord they are doing their father's business and I pray the people you brought, they will remain in God's kingdom and the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now, can you tell the people you... Go and bring the people you brought. Please, ushers, let's be ready. We want to appreciate them on behalf of our servant leader for doing God's business. It's only God that can reward them. And our first timers, we pray that next time that we gather, they will also come. So how many people do we not have left seated? Ushers, please. Please let there be a clear demarcation so that we can...
Okay, so we appreciate you on behalf of our servant leader, those that um, invited people. And to our first timers, we welcome you to this assembly. We hope to see you again. Are you still coming? Do we expect to see you next time? Our first timers, do we expect to see you next time? Did you enjoy today's service? Are you blessed? So shall it be in Jesus' name that you are blessed. So a, a welcome pack will be given to you, our first timers. We have some of our publications. Please go through them so that you know a bit and have inform you know a bit about us and have information about us. We also want you to share your own information with us. A paper has been given to you, a form rather oh. has been given to you. Please fill them so that we have information about you in the database. Thank you for coming. Thank you all. Can we please be on our feet as we take our um, closing prayer and a benediction for today? Oh, praise the Lord. Hmm, we can't come before our God's house, before our Father's house, empty-handed. Can we please take our offerings and tithes? Let's have a dance between as we take our offerings and tithes. Your love has taken over me, Father, I depend on you. I have confidence in you, in you, oh God, I put your love, your love has taken over Yes, sir. acceptable unto you. Accept us, accept our offerings in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless the source of our offerings in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we look up unto you, Lord, that this will be the least we ever give in the mighty name of Jesus. Enlarge our coast, enlarge our border, prosper the works of our hands, that we never lack anything good in the mighty name of Jesus. The blessing of not coming before you empty-handed. The blessing of sowing in your house, not of compulsion, of even giving cheerfully. Father, release the reward upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, as a result of our sowing in your kingdom, Lord, let us not know sickness in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Let us not know poverty in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us not suffer misfortune in any way, in any form, in the mighty name of Jesus. Use this offerings for the furtherance of your work here on earth, and let it be credited to our heavenly account. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Praise the mighty Jesus. Please, let's take our closing prayer. We are grateful, oh Lord. Hallelujah. We are grateful, oh Lord, for your blessings, for all you have done for us. Sing hallelujah. We are grateful. Say, I am grateful. summarizes our feelings that we are grateful for all you've done in our lives and in our midst today. We know that we are blessed for coming. As we depart from this place, let your presence not depart from us in the mighty name of Jesus. As we go, more Lord God, we ask that you give your angels charge concerning us that no evil will be for us, no evil will come near our dwelling places. We stand in the gap even for our family and friends far and near, that no evil will be for them in the mighty name of Jesus. We shall not hear evil reports concerning them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, preserve us. Preserve our loved ones. Preserve all that pertains to us in the land of the living. Continue to maintain our portion in the land of the living. Thank you, mighty Father, Lord, for a refreshing time in your presence. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' marvelous name, we have prayed. Let's share the grace and fellowship. Now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. Surely personalize it. God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. When men are saying there is a casting down, as for me and my household is a lifting up. Amen. When men are saying there is a casting down, as for me and my household, is a lifting up. Amen. Rose Jim. When men are saying there is a casting down, as for us in Rose Jim, is a lifting up. Amen. Praise the Lord. Shalom. Glorious light bearers. Christ. We shine for Christ. Amen. Hello, please. Those that are. That's, uh...